Hey there everybody, I'm Reload and I'm playing Fallout 4. Taking a bit of a break from my walkthrough videos, I wanted to let everybody know that you can actually have the power armor really early in the game. <laughs> After exploring the area near Vault 111, I've stumbled upon the power armor just sitting in the middle of the wasteland. Starting from the beginning of the game, if you pull up the map, the power armor is located to the east of Vault 111 and Sanctuary Town. It's roughly where I just left the custom marker at. You can start making your way down due east, making sure that you avoid water. In case you never played Fallout, water in the wasteland is full of radiation. Overall, it's not really tough to get to the power armor, even for a character fresh out of the vault. You won't encounter too many enemies, perhaps just a couple of animals that you can easily avoid. As you start to explore the wasteland, I find it's a very interesting contrast that the game makers created in this particular game since at the beginning you actually get to experience the pre-war and the pre-blast world. And as you emerge from the vault, you get to see all the decay that happened since the nuclear blast. Not to mention about 200 years worth of nature trying to reclaim the place. And through the eyes of the character, this change seems to have happened in a mere minutes. And that's a very stark difference from the beginning of Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas, where you either experience the life inside the vault, or just life in the wasteland of the Mojave Desert. In any case, let's get back to the power armor. I'll try to avoid spoilers in this video in my commentary, at the very least major plot twists. But if you haven't started playing the game, you might know already that you actually get the power armor rather early in the game compared to other games in the series. It is part of one of the missions that you'll probably get within the first half an hour to an hour, depending on your playstyle. But this particular power armor suit that I'm about to show you is actually uh, very close to Vault 111 and it's not linked to any quest that I know of so far. And the best part is that you can actually get it within the first 3 to 5 minutes of getting out of the vault. It's really not too tough to find, especially when you know where to look for it. Once you get this armor, the only problem will be is that you do not have a fusion core with you at this point in time. Without the fusion core, your VAT system will not work and your movement will be slowed down. You can still take advantage of the armor though, using it to enhance the tanking abilities against the enemies. The fusion cores themselves are scattered around the wasteland. But you should know that it's a finite resource, so I would definitely save them up for something special in the game, like any particular fights that are just too tough to take on without the power armor. You can totally take care of regular wasteland enemies without the power armor, or at the very least without the armor powered by the fusion core. In any case, we are nearing my custom marker, so the power armor will be somewhere nearby. I haven't played through this game long enough to recognize all the landmarks yet, and there it is, just standing in the middle of the field. That's pretty much just under 3 minutes of getting out of the vault. And the great part is that you can just get right in it. There's no special skills to train up before being able to use it. Let's do that now. So just as the tooltip says, the power armor reduces any incoming damage, including damage from falling. The alarm that you hear in the background lets you know that you don't have the fusion core. And as you can see, your action points on the right hand dial are reduced to zero. But you can still move around, just using this suit as an additional armor. So just like that, you can have the power armor really early in the game. I'm not exactly sure how useful it'll be, since you'll get the fully functioning power armor within the first couple of quests in the game. But if you're not up for those missions, or you just want the power armor early in the game, just head over to this area and you'll see the power armor suit standing and waiting for you. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a look through my Fallout 4 walkthrough videos and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will see you out there in the wasteland.